Hey everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. This is the 2022 Lance 1985. It's 23 foot eight inches long and it's just under 5,000 pounds. This year, there are some new graphics, new features, lots of great things about this trailer, even a great new interior. As you're looking at this trailer, remember, check for details if you're looking at this trailer at your dealership because things can change. Meanwhile, let's go inside and take a look. This interior space, it just feels so open the minute you walk in the door. The reason? Convertible sofa bed. Gives you a big open living area. And remember, this is only a 19 foot floor. Let's talk about options real quick. One of the changes this year from the past has been that they made a whole lot of options standard. So I'm gonna point out along the way what options are included in this trailer. Let's start right up front with this convertible sofa bed. This is really nice to have. You get four people that can sleep in here. It's comfortable. The low back on it, I like because it gives you kind of that open feel. You know, the high back twins take up a lot of visual space. All right, let me show you really quickly how to fold it down. It's pretty easy to do. You wanna lift up these arms. They just slide right out. Let me get the other one. And then this jackknife sofa just lays down. Very easy to do. And the mattress folds over. And that bedspread kind of didn't come with it, but you get the idea. The biggest worry that we hear about convertible sofas is that maybe they're not very comfortable. But I can tell you from experience this bed is very comfortable. You don't notice that there is a folding point in the middle. It doesn't run up and down. It runs right across in the center. Nice feature here if you want that open space during the day and a smaller trailer. Big window in the front, that's the stargazer window. And it opens as well. I'm gonna show you how that window works in just a minute. As you can see on that window, there's a screen that pulls down from the top a blackout shade on the bottom. Let's look at the storage up here. Big shelf along the top, reading lights, and these lights are just a touch. There's no buttons to push, just a touch. Really nice. Hanging cabinet up here at the top and identical on the other side. But one of the things I really like about Lance's is that you not only get this nice tall cabinet up here, but you get a really nice bedside table. There is a switch right back here to turn on the lights just underneath this cabinet. It's not very helpful if you can't tell what you set down here. So one of my favorite pieces about this, it also works as a great nightlight. The light's not shining in your eyes and when you're ready to go to sleep, reach over and turn that light off right here on the side. You get plugs on both sides for 110 and for USBs. And right under here on this side is another option, and that is the battery monitor. You know, this trailer can come equipped with lithium, with solar, an inverter, all kinds of things for camping off the grid. That is where having this optional battery monitor is really helpful. It tells you how much battery you're using, and it helps you to monitor whether you're gonna need any additional power sources while you're camping if you're off the grid and not plugged in at a campsite. Okay, last but not least, each side has a nice drawer. Let's move to the other side. I wanna show you a few more things over there. Controls for the air conditioner, right here on the side. This AC is ducted. Now that is new for this year. In the past, it was a central AC. Now it is ducted throughout, so you get even cooling. You also get a little more quiet. You know, ACs can be a little bit noisy. Great feature to have that ducted air. All right, plug underneath and some storage cubbies. But right back here is where I wanna show you about this window. New in 2022 is the acrylic dual pane windows. I love these windows because there is no half screen or anything blocking the visual of the outdoors. 
very easy to open. You have clamps holding it closed, two up here, and then you can push it open a little bit if you just want to, you know, get a little bit of a breeze coming in, or it can actually open quite a bit. And then you see these turns right here. You just tighten them up. There's one on each side, and then it will stay open at whatever point you set it. Rain or drizzle, it works as an awning, so you can still open them if you use a little moisture outside. Like I mentioned, you get the screen coming down from the top, the blackout shade coming up from the bottom, and just great airflow and a beautiful view. Love these windows. There's one more thing I wanna show you with them. As they're coming in, let me undo this real quick. There is a slot right here in the latch. Can you get a picture of that right there? When you close these windows, if you just want a little bit of air, but you want the window to be latched, you can do that by putting this latch right in the center. You don't wanna travel this way because then air can get underneath it and pull this window off. But when you're traveling, be sure you unlatch it and tighten it all the way down in front of the latch. These windows, not only give you a great view, but great airflow. That's why they're one of my favorite features about the 2022 Lance models. There's a fantastic fan up here above the bed. That is a standard feature. And if you wanted a second fantastic fan, that is available as an option. You have the curtain coming across for privacy here and doesn't get any better than this bedroom layout. This dinette, you don't want to miss it because it is 54 by 78. That's huge. Very comfortable here. There is a little bit of a step up. That keeps the trailer low to the ground, so you're going to get less wind drag. Nice, solid table here. I really like this kind of solid surface look. It's a white marble look with some gray streaks in it. Let's talk color because this trailer has three color options. This one is bronzite. Now, if you haven't guessed, that's kind of the brown tones, still very neutral. The other one is called Grayson. And of course, that's gonna be a very similar look, just more gray tones. There's also lapis. That is a dark blue leatherette uh, with the same neutral tone surrounding it. They're all very contemporary very light, uh, really a beautiful feel. Now the rest of the colors, like the tabletop, the nice uh, ceramic rectangular stone that looks so contemporary, that's all the same. So only the features around the windows and the features that are on the dinette will change. By the way, you might notice that around some of the windows, they don't have the full frame and the pleated shade that comes down. There are some shortages, but we did not want to wait to show you this trailer. So know that every window will be fully framed with that. All right. Remember I told you this is 54 by 78? The table drops down and it makes a really nice adult sleeping area, about the same size as a double bed. I really appreciate the fact that Lance does side windows. And again, these will have the full coverings like you see on the back window. There are just shortages in the industry right now. And this back window and the sides give you a really nice view along with this center light, lights up the workspace, the table, and a dimmable switch right above my head so you can control the light. You know, sometimes when I'm camping, I really don't like the bright lights when it's so dark outside. Love that feature. One more thing I want to show you on this dinette, and that is this storage. Just pop that button out, that unlocks it, and this slides out. Now, this has all of the great features that go along with the trailer, but I hope you can see this is a very nice sized drawer. These are going to be the all weather covers that are going to cover every opening, like the fan above me, and they're going to cover all the ceiling pieces. They're insulated. Great for when it's really hot outside or when it's really cold. You've also got the box that has the camera. 
We'll see that on the back. This does have the optional rear camera. All right. When you close these drawers, you just push the button and that locks it in place for travel. Don't forget that because this drawer will move around as you drive down the road. All right, let's move over to the entertainment center. This entertainment center has the same contemporary feel as the rest of the trailer, but it has everything that you need. The Jensen TV, it's a 12 volt, which means it's running off the battery. If you're in a parking lot, you wanna catch the game, you don't have to plug in at the campsite. It's gonna turn on, run just fine off the battery power on the trailer. Great feature. It also pulls away from the wall and swivels so you can see it from the dinette or the bed or sofa area. Very versatile. You know, speaking of TVs, you can also put one outside. I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's look on the side here. You do have a button right over here on the edge. That is gonna connect you to cable or satellite. And just above that, USB plugins and a 12 volt plug-in. Maybe there's a few accessories you'd like to use with the television as well. The JBL sound system not only looks great, but it sounds great too. One of my favorite upgrades in this trailer. Down below, there is the subwoofer that you can turn on and off and adjust the sound on right here to make that music really hopping. Right behind, the 12 volt plug and two USBs, as well as the 110 on the other side and another cable connection. So this is set up for you to add and subtract the features that you wanna use. This piece in the middle is the carrying case for the exterior portable speaker that you can charge inside, either hook it to the outside of your camper or take it out where you're camping, either way. But I'll show you that once we get to the outside. A little more storage down below. And I think this is such a clean setup. I love that. All right, moving on, I'm gonna show you the kitchen before we move to the rear bath. Right over here, this three-way refrigerator, six cubic foot, really nice, very easy to use. The controls are right there in the center. You've got intakes down here for the ducted heat. Glass top stove. This is my favorite stove. I have a lot of favorites on this camper, can't you tell? Because it is flush and it's easy to fold up. You don't have to lift it, you don't have to adjust it. It just flips over and then flips up and it's out of the way. Nice three burner setup here, along with a really nice sized oven. Chrome dials right on the front and a push button spark to light your burners. Beautiful setup here. On the top, a little spice cabinet here, a little shelf. Up above, there's the microwave, hidden away in the cabinet so you get that nice contemporary clean look. Let's open that up. People wanna see just how big that is. You know, I've seen smaller, but I've seen larger. This is reasonable size for a 20 foot trailer. On the right here, you're looking at what they call the convenience center. And that is gonna control your water pump, your water heater, which is gas and electric. Now let's talk water heaters. There is an option for an upgrade to a tankless water heater if that's something you're interested in. So be sure to ask about that when you're looking into the 1985. The other side is gonna tell you whether you're black, gray, and fresh tank are full. And of course, give you a status on your battery. You do have the battery monitor up front in the bedroom area. That is where you're gonna get all the details on your battery. This is just gonna give you full, halfway, or low. Below that are the light switches. Now I like to show those, how they've lighted the area, because I really think that makes a difference in how you experience your trailer. The soffit lighting is just above on the ceiling, but they have given you nice lights right underneath these cabinets. So if you're working in the kitchen, you're gonna be able to see really clearly what's on these counters. Really nice feature there. Another cabinet right here that is simply storage. It does have two tiers in it, so you've got two shelves. There's a residential faucet 
and of course the solid surface covers on the sink. That gives a whole feel of a countertop here. And when you need the sink, these just lift right off. There is a gray undermount sink here. Really nice size. It is a single sink. That's a favorite of mine because you can put a tub under here and easy filling. Of course, you do have the pull down faucet. Single handle, really simple to use. If you prefer a double sink, I've seen a lot of people take a small plastic bucket, place it in half, because this is large enough, you can do that. When you're done, very easy to just set these right back on. Not only does that clean up the look of the trailer, but it gives you more workspace. There is plenty of space right here. Everyone wants to know where to put the coffee pot. First thing I look at when I'm looking at a trailer, you've got plenty of space right here in between for that. Beautiful white, Again, a kind of a wood marble look, kind of a stone feel. They did put a glossy finish on it, and that really works well with the glossy finish on all the cabinets. Gives it that real Euro style look, as Lance calls it. Underneath, let's look at the storage real quick. Lance always has smart storage, and that is these pull-out plastic trays. If you're not used to using these, they do pull out completely. That's handy if you want to kind of rearrange them, clean them, see what's in them, and then they slide right back in. Very simple to do. Underneath, you'll see the water pump. That hose that is kind of sticking out there, that's the hose that you would use to winterize because Lance makes it very easy to winterize their trailers. On the other side, a little more storage right there, and one tin plug right here in the front. One more thing, let's look on the end of these cabinets. Up top, right over here, the slide out room switch. Over here, you're gonna have the awning switches and then in the middle, the courtesy light. There is always a courtesy light when you walk in a trailer because you want something easy to grab to just light up the trailer when you first walk in. The awning is right next to it. It stays lit, so you know if that light is lit on the awning outside. You may not want to leave it there if it's rolled up. And the patio light's right there. Countertop extension. Need a little more workspace? That countertop pops right up when you need it and right back down when you're done. On the left, one more 110 plug in case you have electrical appliance that you want to sit right up here. Before we move to the back, one of the new features in 2022 is what they call this Euro style door. I don't know if that term is overused or not. A lot of you are telling me that it is, but this is such a nice feature. You've got some pockets built into it. It is a single handle lock or opening and has a cover for the door, easy to clean, no more fumbling around with those screens. When you open it, you will have a screen that pulls out right here and slides right back in. Very cool feature in the 2022s. All right, stick with me because now I'm gonna show you one of the big reasons people buy this trailer. They want that nice full bathroom across the back. We'll head there next. Let's start with the pocket door. Sliding door across, really simple way to close off the bathroom without having a door in your way. But the best feature for me, a full wall of storage. Let's take a look. Both these cabinets open up and you have a bar at the top for hanging clothes, but you could easily set up any type of shelves if that worked better for you. Maybe some plastic bins underneath three drawers. Awesome. Everyone that I travel with wants to have their own space, particularly in the bathroom. With three drawers, you can make that happen. Porcelain toilet gives it that residential feel, easy to clean, doesn't get the wear and tear that the standard RV toilet does. Nice towel bar above that and that beautiful solid surface look. Same as the table. It is a molded piece up here. An undermount sink, easy to clean, nice basic contemporary faucet. 
even more storage up here in the medicine cabinet and a little more underneath. This is really a great storage layout for a bathroom this size. Over here, you've got a rectangular shower, skylight in the top, the miser shower head, so you're gonna get good pressure without using a ton of water. You do have 45 gallons of fresh water in this trailer, but still, make it last. Across from this shower, you do have another power fan. It is a small 12 volt power fan. You can replace that by adding the option for a second fantastic fan. Great for the bathroom. Switches for the lights and the vanity are right here. Again, I love the fact that they have separated the light that's right above the medicine cabinet with the overhead lights. Easy to use a night light or just half light your bathroom. I think that's nice. A few more quick things in here. There is a 110 plug right here on the side of the cabinet. We always get that question. And it is ducted heating and ducted air in here. So it keeps it really comfortable in the bathroom. All right, let's go outside and take a look at some of the great features outside. So much to look at in this trailer. Before we go, I'm five foot tall. This is even taller than the trailers you've seen in the past. So six, seven, six, eight on the center. It is a curved ceiling. You do have a crowned roof, but height is not going to be a problem in this 2022 Lance. Let's go outside and look at some more things. The features on the outside have really stepped up in 2022. But one of the things Lance is known for is being a four season trailer. It is fully insulated, all the sides, the ceiling, the floor, and a heated and enclosed underbelly, along with the dual pane windows. Great for cold weather and for hot. New for 2022 is the spring axles with the road armor equalizer. That's gonna absorb some of the shock going down the road with these dual axles. And there is a shock absorber option. We get that on all the trailers here at Princess Craft because anytime you can make that ride a little smoother, it's better for you, better for the trailer. There's a few compartments right here. The first one is the fill for the 45 gallon fresh water tank. Just a vent behind that and then electrical connections. 110 plug here and 12 volt and USB. If you wanted to, you could add a TV right here on this bracket. The metal backing plate for a second TV is in that drawer that I showed you underneath the dinette. It can mount right here. Now that second TV is not included from Lance, but easy for you to add if you wanted it. Now next, furnace vent, refrigerator vent, and at the end, that JBL portable speaker I told you about. You can mount it right here, or you can disconnect it, carry it to your picnic table, wherever you want it to go. Great feature included with your Lance. On the back, first thing you'll notice, the fat tube ladder. It is very sturdy. Love this thing for getting up on the roof. Over here on this left side, the water heater vent, and up top, the optional rear backup camera. This one happened to come with it, but it can be added at the dealer if that isn't on the Lance when you get it. On this side, this is where all your connections are. Outside shower right here with hot and cold. You do have the black tank flush and your city water fill. If you're connecting to the hydrant, right here is where you'll wanna do that. When you're dumping your black tanks, this is where you will connect to be sure those tanks get really clean. Underneath, satellite connection and cable connection if they have that at the park that you're staying at or if you have a portable satellite. Of course, your shore power cord. And let's look underneath really quick. This is a great place to talk about the electric stabilizer jacks. They are standard now on Lance trailers and the buttons are in the front compartment. I'll show you those as soon as we get there. And to the left of that, you will see the sewer connections with the gray and the black dump tank right there. 40 gallons gray, 40 gallons black. Right above, a storage compartment. Great feature, there is always a need for more outside storage. 
And this trailer has a ton. Moving up, this is the slide out. Now you'll notice on this trailer, there is not a slide out awning cover. However, that is an option. So I wanna point that out to you. You can add that if that's something that you want from Lance. This is another outside storage compartment. Of course, it has the metal catches, so you don't have any of those little cliffs. Great space in here. I love fitting all of my outside gear up here. I would keep chairs, all kinds of things in here. This is underneath the dinette. In front of the slide out, you'll see right here, this white handle will dump your fresh water tank. That 45 gallons may not be something you wanna carry down the road. Easy way to get rid of that right here. Another storage compartment here, you can see it's lockable, metal underneath. Great for maybe some of those outside features. Right in front of that, here is what they call a toy lock. This is a 25 foot cable with a lock on it. This pulls out and it could go around maybe a satellite, maybe your bikes, uh, maybe a good thing for, I don't know, anything that you wanna be sure doesn't walk away when you're not looking. In front, you can see the front stabilizer jacks. Generator compartment. If you don't have a generator, that's okay. This is a vented compartment. It has ABS molded around the outside. So great for anything that's maybe damp. You do have straps if you put a portable generator in here to hold that generator steady. And right up here in the top corner is the battery disconnect. When you put your trailer in storage, you may want to disconnect those batteries to make them last longer. They won't be drained by those small LED lights that are still burning inside your trailer. There is battery compartments on both sides of the trailer. They are hooked together in the middle, but by having one on each side, you can pull them out, easily access them. Standard is going to be the wet cell batteries that your dealer puts in for you but you can upgrade to lithium from Lance. You can also add a 1500 watt inverter. Now that inverter is gonna take the battery power, change it into 110, so the plugs inside will work off your battery. That is a great feature. Coming around the front, you'll notice there is a new molded front cap on this. It has the same contemporary styling that they have put into the rest of this trailer. Standard, the tri -fib propane tank. That means that there is three five gallon propane tanks under here. Now only two of them are connected to the system. The third, a spare for that one time that you need a little more propane. The electric jack is standard. The smart jack, by the way, has some great features on it so you can program it to go up to the height that you need to load to your specific vehicle. Great feature on that. There is another connection right here in case you have something else you'd like to hook up, maybe tie down with a cable, maybe uh, just a pet leash connection, whatever you need, there is another hook up there. You notice that they have LED lights on this. That's gonna light up this front if you're trying to hook up after dark or maybe disconnect. This side of the trailer, another battery compartment. Let's not miss that not only do you have the option for a lot of solar on the roof, but you can add an additional portable solar panel right here. Now on the other side, we had the generator compartment. On this side, you get more ride pullout tray. Marvelous, marvelous feel here. It's got plenty of weight capacity, plenty of storage, and makes it really easy to get to everything that you put in here. A few more things under here. You have the light switch on the far side. That is gonna turn on the light in the front. So when you're trying to hook up, uh, you just flip that switch, get that front lit up. These two are gonna be controlling the electric stabilizer jacks I've been showing you. So that is all done right here at the end of this compartment. And just above that, you've got the light for the compartment. One more great thing, there is a table that fits right into the top of this compartment. Every Lance comes with this four foot table. You just pull it out and it helps you make that wonderful space under your awning where everybody wants to hang out. 
Slam latch is what they call that. This baggage door latch that just locks itself. Right here, we get a lot of questions. This is uh, raising and lowering your spare tire, which is underneath. You don't have to worry about it being inside. Easy to get to. And right next to that, the gas port for hooking up your grill. Just a few more things I want to show you on this trailer. This awning doesn't have any arms, comes straight out, gives you a beautiful outdoor covered space. Now, if it starts to rain, the wind kicks up and moves it too much, it puts itself in. I love the wind sensor on that. Also, without arms, nobody's gonna hit their head on that awning arm. The other thing I wanna show you is this revolution step. This is an option and it's just really sturdy, folds up underneath, clips into place, but I like it because it does have feet that come down and adjust. It is the sturdiest step out there for these nice lightweight trailers. So remember that is an option that you can add. So many great things they've added to this trailer. I hope I've gotten to show you a few of them. And if you have questions, we're here to help you. I'm PJ at Princess Craft RV. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you should do that. We try to put out a new video every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.